Hey, Gary here with you. Update day 94. We're inside a Groove blog taking a look at what we have. If you head over to post, you'll see that this is still in draft. I haven't had a chance to edit that yet. But if you head over to page 13, you'll be able to see when we get that published, that'll be filled up and then we'll have 14 pages of post. But what we're doing today is we're going to use a site called SEO P Timer to do an SEO audit and use their reporting tool. Now I've never used this site, but it does promise a comprehensive website audit. It'll also provide us a beautiful branded white label PDF report. Now this is more if you're an agency or you're giving this information to someone to have them take action or you're doing SEO for them. But just to get a full picture of what SEO P Timer is all about, they also include a free SEO toolbox that you have here that you can see does meta tag generation, keyword generator, a robot.txt file, and .hts, a .ht access file generator, as well as an XML sitemap generator. So it's free and it's one of the many tools, the SEO tools where we can take a look and we can work with these tools to do like what it says here, getting your website to rank in Google is harder and more competitive than ever. There are many factors such as on-page content, performance, social factors, and backlink profile that search engines like Google use to determine which sites should rank highest. And that's what this is all about. Taking a look at all these free tools and comparing or trying to figure out and analyze our content versus the competition so we can get our content ranked. And some good news before we actually run the audit, you can see that here in day 94, we have 113 pages in post indexed. Today is July 17th here on day 94. So to fire up the audit and run it, we're just simply going to enter our URL here and click audit. Then it'll take a few seconds there and you can see here that your page could be better and there's 22 recommendations. We're coming in with a C minus. We have a C for on-page SEO. We have an A plus for links. We have a C for usability, a B minus for performance and an F for social media. Now, if you scroll down through the report, you'll see recommendations here and you're also going to see that this report looks awful familiar. So if you go back to day 91 when we were using using the Hoth free SEO audit tool, you can see that their report is basically the same thing. For example, if you check out day 91 AI blogging, you can see the on-page SEO results here. You can see the title tag with a link of 18, and you can also see the meta description tag with a link of 261, as well as the SERP snippet preview. And if we go back to SEO P timer, we'll scroll down and you'll see the on-page SEO results here, title tag, meta description, and the SERP snippet preview. So effectively this report is the same as what we already have and what we're already working on from the report that we got from the Hoth. So one last thing here, and again, this is pretty much what we saw over at the Hoth. So pick one or the other or run both to see if maybe there's some differences between the two. But the idea here is the rankings. We're looking at keywords. We can see our position. We can see our total searches and our estimated traffic. So these are the things that we definitely want to look at in these reports. There's also some performance results here. Now, if you are running a self-hosted blog, if you have have your own hosting and you're running WordPress, this is definitely something that you want to pay attention to and possibly upgrade your hosting or maybe work with your hosting to see if they can fix these things. Of course, I would give this over to Groove Support and let them know and see if there's something they can do to fix that. Because if you're using Groove or if you're using Wix or something like Squarespace, you don't have much control over this other than to turn over an audit like this give it to their support and see what they come back and what they say about it and let them handle all that while you move on to thing like what you see here or things like you see here, social results. You'll see your social needs improvement. We got an F. That's because we don't have any social media presence, but you can see things like your Facebook open graph tags. Your page is using a Facebook open graph tags. So you can look at the details like that, but we don't have a Facebook pixel. Our Twitter is not connected. We don't have an Instagram or a LinkedIn connected. And we probably never will on this site, this site that we built here over this 100 day case study. Again, this 100 days is about creating the content as fast as we can, but also make sure that we rely on the fact that we need to focus on creating quality content and making sure that we address the questions or we provide the best information that we can while letting the AI generate the content. If you're having fun and you're enjoying this and you're looking forward to the conclusion up when we get to 100 days or as we move up through each day as we head out to 100 days, then give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in tomorrow's update. Bye.